The establishment players lie to you about the immigration situation, and they do it to play to advantage. It is a huge problem. We're not getting the people we need, and we're getting a lot of people we don't want. 300,000 migrants cross the border plus. They don't know. They don't know. Why? Because so many run by. They don't know. But the number has got to be that plus, and there's no question things are worse, and we know why. But now, the Senate gets like some, the Holy Spirit comes into them, and they decide to actually do the job for you. And the Republicans make it stop because it may be bad for Trump. So the guy who says that this is the most important issue of national security and it has to be fixed isn't letting it be fixed so that he can campaign on it being the biggest problem. Wow, are we in trouble. I want to bring in someone that I really hope you check out uh, his YouTube channel, Combat Veteran Reacts. I love it, okay? And this guy checks all the boxes. Not only an Army captain, he also worked at DHS, uh, the Department of Homeland Security. He knows the system. Paul Lewandowski, okay? Combat Vet Paul. That's the YouTube channel. It's good to have you here. I've been looking forward to this. Yeah, thanks for having me on, Chris. Um, you have any better intel than I do about, I, I don't buy the idea that, oh no, we don't like this bill because it's too soft. Uh, it is absolutely the best set of slowdown parameters I've seen in a bill. It certainly matches um, H2, House Bill 2, that the House GOP was so excited about last time around. What's your take? Yeah, you know, it, the immigration crisis is very cyclical, and it is a favorite of politicians to use to score political points, often with their base. I think that's what we're seeing happen it, with the state of Texas. And unfortunately, I think a lot of political actors avoid addressing the core issues of the system, namely things like prompt adjudication of asylum. And I think until mm -hmm. that pipeline is streamlined, everything else is going to be a, a stopgap measure that's maybe going to make people feel good, maybe have some nice press conferences, but it won't result in real systematic improvements to uh, the whole border security and migration and asylum process. Every time I've been down there, every time I've talked to people who are actually doing the job, you're struck, one, by the incredible level of humanity for the men and women who do that job, especially along the border. They care about these people much more than the politicians seem to. Second, they say, sure, sure, physical barriers, sure, sensors, all that stuff, great. I need rule changes and I need capacity. I need uh, more processing, more magistrates. You got to look at the rules on asylum because they don't make sense anymore. You got to let me hold these people. Catch and release is a mistake for us. You got to give me more money and more resources to send them home. And none of that stuff sounds sexy, but you're saying you were down there, you did the job, and that's the reality. That's what they need. And a lot of that was in this bill. Yeah, it's definitely true that, especially when you have these large-scale migration events, and they're oftentimes geographically concentrated, right? I've been to Eagle Pass. It's an extremely small border patrol station that handles very small amounts of foot traffic. It's primarily commercial traffic headed to places like Austin and San Antonio. And so these uh, border patrol agents and uh, OFO officers get overwhelmed when they see these big surges mm -hmm. of migrants. And there has to be a process in place to provide more resources to care, process, control uh, those big migration surges. But again, it's going to be Band-Aid after Band-Aid on a fundamentally broken system. And I think that is every bill that comes up every so often is just more, it, it's often more Band-Aids. Again, I'm waiting to hear mm. from any politician like a fundamental soup to nuts immigration reform. And it's politically hard to do, right? There's a lot of agencies, yeah, they can't do it. a lot of authorities. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to newsnationnow.com, newsnationnow.com, and you can find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.